is so long. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, let me explain. So, I was offered a job at 111 as a call handler a few weeks ago, and I started my training, which was three weeks. And that's where I've been, guys. I've been training for my new job. I'm really enjoying it, and that's why I haven't filmed for so long. But I'm back, and I will be doing nights, so therefore I will have daytimes to film because I'll be doing four on four off shifts so I will be filming a lot more it's just the training period has been hard and I haven't been able to film so yeah that's why I haven't been here guys so today I'm going to be creating this green look sort of um, spring themed when I think of spring I think of like green um, yeah also, I kind of wanted to show you guys how to create a look that's green and also wearable because I know a lot of people do struggle to make green makeup wearable and I always used to struggle as well because green is very bright, very vibrant and it's sometimes not the easiest colour to wear but this look is very wearable um, so it's it's very pretty, it's, it's just it's a great look and you could definitely wear this for a special occasion, maybe a wedding, a party, definitely a party, uh, going out, out, you know, even for like a dinner date. It's just a very wearable look, but it is quite bright and vibrant, so obviously it's not for everyone, but it's a very wearable green look. If you want to learn how to create this look, then please stay tuned and I will show you how. Yeah. Let's go! Hi guys, so I've just primed my eyes with the P. Louise base. Um, yeah, I just wanted to do that before starting because you guys know what to do with that. <laughs> so today I'm going to be using the Worldy palette from P. Louise. I absolutely love this. Look at this cute packaging, how cute! Got beautiful bright colours in it. I love this palette a lot and the quality and the pigments in all P. Louise palettes are just so good. So excuse the skin by the way, I have got quite bad skin at the minute. I think it's because my sleeping pattern's been quite bad and that can sometimes affect your, your skin. So I'm going to start by taking the shade Baggage, which is a beautiful lime green, very bright. So I'm going to put that above my crease up to just below the brow bone so now i'm going to take the shade big apple and this is like a slightly darker uh, darker green and i'm putting that above my crease and i'm not taking that up quite as high i'm just going to blend that in with the lighter green a little bit not too much, I want that lighter green to be very much visible still. So I'm now going to take the shade Barrier Reef, which is a dark forest green, I would say. And I'm putting that all over my lid. All over. And then take it right up to that green that I put along that high crease. Two secs. That's better. So as you can see, that's added quite a lot of depth there. You've got the the lighter colour, you've got the medium colour, and then the shade on the lid, and there's just quite a lot of depth there. So next I'm gonna add some glitter. Now you can leave it like this, okay? So obviously this looks fine. I like this, add some eyeliner, whatever, lashes, um, and that's fine. But for me, I just want to add a little bit of glitter because that's the look that I'm showing you guys. Because this is actually a look I did a couple of years ago for New Year's. And I got so many compliments and everyone loved it. So I was like, do you know what? I'll, I'll do it again. Like, seriously. I'm going to be using the Glitter Eyes, which is the brand Glitter Eyes. Pressed Glitter. I think the this brand is called something else now. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll look it up and write it here somewhere. 
But it's, it's glitterized. Oh, it's so cute. I mean, I've messed it up. But look at that. It's so beautiful. It's a pressed glitter. I think it only cost me like three or four pounds. I personally like to put a little bit of my NYX glitter glue on. Just because... Not glitter glue. Glitter primer <laughs> on. Just because I, I feel like it gives a much better, like, smoother look. I, I think. I think so, anyway. So, I just like to sort of do that get a little bit not too much on my finger and I just put that on with my finger obviously it looks kind of nude on there but when you put it on it it is just clear it doesn't take your eyeshadow off or anything which I really love about this glitter primer so I'm now going to use a flat brush and I'm going to take some of my glitter So now I'm just going to take the Barrier Reef shade again and just very slightly go over where I put that shade because the, some of the glitter has sort of gone onto it and just to blend everything together make it nice and sort of seamless I suppose. So I'm just going to get the glitter off my face and then I'll be back. Hi guys, I'm back! <laughs> I'm so dramatic. Eyeliner. So eyeliner, I'm going to be using the She Glam Modern, <laughs> Modern Love Eyeliner. It has a heart one side and a normal eyeliner the other side. I really, really love this a lot. It's so good, like that. It's so black. It sits so nicely. It's it's just great. It's really good eyeliner. I really love it. I'm gonna apply my eyeliner. Some people like to do the eyeliner first and then the glitter when they apply glitter but I personally don't I just prefer to use I just prefer to use the glitter first I don't know why I just do I've just done a small wing there as well I am gonna do my face makeup and my brows and then I'll be back to finish the look with you guys See you in a minute. Hi guys, I am back and I've just done my face makeup and my brows, okay? So, I do feel like my brows are a bit uneven today. I kind of like them though, I quite like how fluffy they are. So I'm going to leave them alone. Be edgy guys. Eyebrows are meant to be sisters, not twins. I remember that. Makes you feel better when your eyebrows are having a bad day. <laughs> So I'm going to take a small flat brush and I'm going to take the shade Barrier Reef and I'm going to put that along my lash line. And I'm now going to take the Big Apple shade. I'm going to put that just under there and also blend it in with the other green. Now I'm going to just take a black eyeliner and I'm going to put that along my waterline and also my lash line. I'm going to of course take my favourite bronzer which is the Laura Geller Baked Bronze and Bright and Colour Correcting Bronzer. I just love saying that long name so much. I'm taking that on a big fan brush and contouring my face blush my Laura Geller baked blush in Catalina highlighter I will take my doll beauty highlight duo and a small fan brush take the lighter shade and go crazy with that because I am obsessed with highlighter Yes, I have a lot of highlighter on. Deal with it, guys. I love highlighter. Now that I've turned myself into some sort of uh, crystal, I don't even know what, like a massively shiny tin man or something. I'm extremely excited to show you these eyelashes, guys. These eyelashes, the new Sandy Glam Lash Style. There's actually a couple of new ones which are coming out this weekend. So tomorrow. Look at this. Introducing the brand new Sandy Glam Lash Style. Look at that. It's kind of like a messy sort of, um, I don't know, what you call it. it's just sort of like kind of messy and fluffy and just fluffy goodness. 
and they are fairly long as well and they're very curly so kind of different to what sandy glam have already brought out as i was saying these lashes are the new newest most brand newest ever sandy glam lash style so these lashes are called medusa so these are the sandy glam medusa lashes i think my favorite thing about this new lash style is they're so curly but also so fluffy and just messy almost Sandy Glam haven't brought out any sort of messy looking lashes before this is the first so you can buy these on our Etsy store Sandy Glam lashes and they will be £3.99 introductory price they will then go up to £4.99 so if you want to go get these lashes go 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 while they're on offer come on go I can't even explain to you how curly these are I really hope that you can see how curly they are I think you can for lips I'm going to be using my still up stay all day liquid lipstick and this is like a nudie color if you've been here before you will know I love these I absolutely love these I've got three of them this is the darkest one and they're just like nude pinky nude shades they smell so nice they they so honestly I wish you could smell this right now it smells so good so as you can see they're quite dark almost more like a brown right I'm gonna sort my hair out and then I will be back Hi guys, I'm back. My hair is wet because I had a shower just before filming, um, so it doesn't look great, sorry. Also it's faded, it's very blonde at the minute. <laughs> I'm not liking it, it's too natural for me, but I will be dyeing it pink again soon. So yeah, this is the finished look guys, what do you think? So obviously it's green, it's quite bright but it's very wearable okay so this this is what i love about green green is a beautiful beautiful color perfect for springtime it's really really beautiful color to wear and i know it's quite hard sometimes to make green makeup wearable but i do feel like this look is quite wearable especially for like a special occasion or something maybe not like everyday makeup but certainly for for a special occasion a party a wedding anything like that sort of something where you want to look a little bit more glam again you don't have to add the glitter you can just have the matte green and leave it at that i think that's it guys there's not really a lot to say about it the point of this video really for me i just wanted to show you guys how to create a very wearable green look so here it is i think it's quite wearable what do you think let me know what you think in the comments below guys and thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye